In today's video, I'll be playing as every single Iron Man suit. In order for Jarvis to activate my suit, I need your guys' help. Jarvis, are you there? Welcome back, sir. Jarvis, please bring up the like button. So ladies and gentlemen, if you hit this with your entire fist, it will activate my Iron Man suit. Let's try it out in three, two, one. Whoa! It worked, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually in Iron Man suit. I don't know exactly what suit this is, but this is a fantastic. Dude, we're literally just flying through the sky right now. Wait, is that a like button? Wait, why are likes popping up everywhere? Jarvis, what's going on? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean system overload? Wait, what do you what do you mean by self-destruct? Wait, Jarvis, don't don't self-destruct! Do not self-destruct! Jarvis, no! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Jarvis, did you really have to self-destruct the suit? Well, ladies and gentlemen, do not worry. In today's video, we are going to be crafting and upgrading Iron Man suit from Mark 1 all the way to Mark 21. Uh, there's a lot to do in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, so I cannot dilly-dally. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to activate the Tony Stark Under Armour. This is almost like Mark Zero. This is, uh, yeah, what you need to basically get in the higher Mark suits. As you guys can see, it's extremely basic. We can do a simple repulsor blast. We also have a repulsor beam, and that's about it. it it's not very powerful. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, over here, Bessie has everything that we possibly need in order to upgrade to Mark 1. If I go over here to the Stark workbench, as you guys can see, we have all the monies, we have all the materials, and I should be able to go ahead and craft. I have to, I gotta take off my armor. Three, two, one, craft! And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, we are now the Mark 1 Iron Man suit. Now, I'm sure a ton of you guys know that I've checked out all of the Iron Man suits before. But ladies and gentlemen, they all got updated. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through every single suit and showing you guys the brand new moves and also the brand new rank up system. And trust me, you guys are going to want to stick until the end. Some of the brand new moves and some of the amazing suits are going to blow your mind. Okay, so in order to rank up, you're going to need to get this portable modular device. In the top right hand of the screen, you can see it says rank. Now currently, I have fully ranked up this Mark 1 suit, but if I hit rank up one more time, it will actually upgrade the suit into Mark 2. We'll do that in just a second here, ladies and gentlemen, because I need to show you guys how you can actually get rank points. So every single mob now has a different tier level. The higher the tier level, the higher chance you get of getting these skill points that you could use in order to rank up every single suit of armor. Obviously, the Mark 1 suit was made in a cave, so it is very robust, and it has very basic moves, just like a flamethrower. We also have a scatter shot. Sc scatter, sc okay, scatter shot, did not do the scatter shot. The flamethrower, however, definitely, it, it threw flames. It it spit flames everywhere. Let's go ahead and test out our rocket launcher ability. That is effective. What about three, two, one, ground pound? Yes, dude, this is actually one of my favorite suits. I remember being a young child watching the first ever Iron Man movie back in 2008, and I just had a blast. So this is literally the best day of my entire life. Now it looks like we may have a new move called toss. Can I? Okay, I'm actually, I'm not entirely sure if that's new, but it seems to be slightly updated. There's also, I believe, new sound effects and maybe even new textures on some of these brand new Iron Man suits. Because we do have a mini arc reactor, we can use the Unibeam. That comes directly from my chesticle. It looks like in the brand new update, we also get blue gems and we can get blueprints in order to craft even more <laughs> armors. So I guess if there are any other superheroes like Shazam that you want me to check out in a future episode, please go ahead and comment down below. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to rank up into Iron Man's Mark II suit in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. Now I am War Machine. And it also looks like every single time you rank up, it actually sticks with the suit. So I'm still technically rank 6. So if I hit rank up again, I should turn into Mark 3. But I want to show you guys all of Mark 2's abilities. So as you guys can tell, there is a heads-up display now, unlike Mark 1. The heads-up display has been slightly updated, I believe. Now every single time you look at a mob, it has like this really cool circular interface and it still tells you all the different uh you know pieces of information it says the cow it says how far away it is it gives me the vitals and also the oxygen levels because apparently i need that that's probably super useful especially when you're fighting other superhero players but for mobs i don't think i need to know what oxygen level they're at now for those of you guys that have seen this before you probably noticed that in the top left hand of the screen you have brand new abilities so let me show you guys a couple uh we have obviously the repulsor blast and the repulsor beam and the unibeam are basically all the same sounds like the unibeam maybe got a sound update which is dope I really do want to try out the toss ability. It's one of my favorite abilities in the entire mod because you can just yeet mobs around. But we have this brand new ability called thrusters. Okay, did, did, I, did I get thrusted? Let's try that again. Three, two, one, thruster. Whoa. Okay, so that basically lifts you off super quickly. 
I wonder if I can thrust my butt on a mob. Three, two, one. No, no, three, two, one, thruster. Okay, no, so it doesn't do any damage. It's literally, it just thrusts you forward using some of the uh, suit's power. Now we also have another ability called a power dive. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 I gotta do that again. Three, two, one, power. No, three, two, one, power, power dive. Power dive, pa 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 power. Power dive, power dive. Power death. Yes. Yo. The animation is so sick. Let's go test out the ultimate ability too. We have the hand cannon. Oh. Oh, double hand cannon. Nice. Nice. So if I were to be rank one, I would have my repulsor blast. I would have my repulsor beam and also my unibeam, which is pretty good. But obviously it's not as good as having all of them. So as you kill more mobs, you will get skill points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to rank up into Mark III. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have now upgraded. You guys can also use the Stark Workbench. As you guys can see, uh, we can use the Stark's Under Armor. And we just need to get all of these materials on the right. And also, you need a lot of money in order to basically upgrade and buy the different marks in the Workbench. But luckily, using the power of Bessie's Science, we have been able to figure out another way. So Mark III has most of the same abilities. Let's actually test out its resistance against a Creeper Explosion. It's pretty resistant against any explosions. I mean, Iron Man Mark III, I believe, did take a hit from Thor's Hammer Mjolnir. So I'm pretty sure. I can take a little tiny explosion from a couple creepers. Mark III does have quite a few upgrades. Energy-wise, we are way more efficient. So if you guys notice in the left hand of the screen, I barely lose any energy whenever I'm flying around. Now we also have a new selection system for our fourth ability. As you guys can see, we can do these uh, these like armor guns. We also have, I think this is, oh, just a, just, a, just a wrist rocket. That's pretty dope. And then we can shoot out flares from our shoulders if something is chasing us. Flares. There we go. They don't really do any damage. There also is another ability called assist, which I believe we can right click on any, I think, pet or player and we can heal them. I don't really think I want to heal anything right now, especially not these guys. We're going to go ahead and test out our power dive, but we're going to try it from high up in the sky. Okay. Do I need, wait, do I need my thrusters to get up? Uh, okay. For whatever reason, flying, flying is not working. Flying has, flying has died. We're doing the power dive, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Yes. So that does just insane damage all around, but I'm kind of stuck after Afterwards. Okay, we're taking off our helmet, ladies and gentlemen. These things look so weird. They were purple. These are also some new mobs in the brand new update for the Iron Man Legends mod. The armor integrity is slowly falling down. Whoa. Yo, wait a second. I think the armors maybe got debuffed because this armor is about to die. I mean, these Pigman Brutes are extremely effective. Don't get me wrong. Look at them. They have like giant balls. So we're gonna have to use our mega ability, the hand cannon. Did I really just die? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're gonna have to rank up in three, two, one. All right, it definitely worked, ladies and gentlemen. We have ranked up to Mark IV. We do have a brand new special ability called the Striker Missile. Does it work? Oh, it works. It works extremely well. I want to try to use our power dive from way up here. All right, I don't know if that actually did more damage, but I'm a big fan of the brand new Striker Missile ability. It also seems like this armor does just a tad bit more damage. That'll probably be a theme throughout today's episode. As we upgrade the Iron Man suit all the way up to Mark 21, they'll get stronger. I think that was the only brand new ability, so let's go ahead and rank up again to Mark 5. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, the, the, the Mark 5 suit is codenamed Football, I believe. And there's a pretty special reason for that. I'm not sure if you guys remember from my other Iron Man videos or if you're just a big Iron Man fan, but we have a transform ability where the entire suit is animated and it slowly turns into a suitcase. Now, obviously, because it is so portable, it, uh, it isn't as powerful as some of the other suits that we've checked out, but the fact that it's portable is amazing. So we can put down the suitcase again, I believe just right click on it and it will slowly build back on my body. This is literally one of my favorite suits just because of that. Let's go ahead and see how it does against a pigment brute. Yeah, this thing gets broken way quicker. Its armor integrity does not seem to be super powerful, but we still have all of the basic Iron Man attacks. We have the unibeam, the repulsor beams. We even have the, the power dive, which is amazing. And then our ultimate ability, the... Never mind, I can't even use the ultimate ability. I don't think this thing has much energy compared to the other suits as well. Wait, it has a roll ability? Wait, do, do all the other suits have a roll ability? Did I just not see that? Well, anyway, let's go ahead and rank up to Mark VI. Mark VI is an amazing suit, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually the first Iron Man suit in the Legends mod that is considered Tier 5. I think all the other suits that we've checked out so far have been either tier three or tier four. So this one is extremely powerful compared to those. Let me show you guys just how powerful it is. Let's go ahead. We're going to punch a sheep. Sheep's dead. Look at that. We got, we got just a little chicken. Chicken's dead. 
Look at that. That's how powerful it is. It could just kill chicken. I'm not sure if it can kill a creeper in one hit like that. Now, it might take maybe one hit and a repulsor blast in order to knock that thing back to 1982. But it pretty much has all the other same abilities as the other marks, except for its ultimate ability, which is literally called... Arsenal Barrage. I'm gonna hit my helmet here for this, just so you guys get the best angle here. We're gonna fly up to the sky, and we're gonna do Arsenal Barrage. In 3, 2, why did I fall out of the sky? I'm not sure, but it activated every single one of Iron Man Mark VI weapons. I believe it activated my Repulsor Blast, Repulsor Beam, my Unit Beam, and also Rocket Launchers. Oh, I also forgot to mention, yeah, I have, I have shoulder guns too that just shoot out and just turn creepers into little tiny pieces moving along we're gonna rank up to mark seven this is it ladies and gentlemen iron man's mark seven suit so this one i believe is just faster and stronger than mark five and mark six but i think it also expands on mark five's suitcase ability and i think i can remotely call this suit so if i go ahead and use my select weapon function wait i think wait do i have do i have another weapon what what is what does this do three two one does anybody know where my suit just went is it in my inventory um we have something called kalantot bracelets what if i right click it oh 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 i remember this so, so right, I have, I have the bracelets on, right? And I'm pretty sure the suit builds from the bracelets. I just don't know exactly how to activate it. I don't, I don't have an ability. Wait, what? Nah, we got to try that again. So we're going to, we're going to activate the bracelet ability. Three, two, one bracelet. We're going to put the bracelet beads on our chest plate, which I guess is equivalent to my, my, like, uh, my, my wrist. I don't know why it took me so long to say wrist. My brain can't comprehend what's happening right now. And then if I, if I hit Z, the suit just flies out. It, it, it's like, it's like a pod. It's literally a pod flying into my body. That is insane, ladies and gentlemen. That is all I have to see from the suit. I don't even need to attack anything. Plus all the attacks are, wait, never mind. Never mind. The attacks are not the same. We're going to go ahead and try out our brand new ult ability, Micro Projectiles. What? I don't know how these brutes just survived that. Probably because they have 100 health and they, they are indeed brutes. Bro, they are so dead though. I am loving this brand new update, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys can tell from the just massive smile on my face, but this is literally so cool. Okay, I need to see what, what else we have. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rank up to Mark 8. So we've become Iron Man Mark 8, and I was looking through all the different abilities. It seems like every single ability is basically the same. We still have our micro projectiles that I think are just miniature rockets, honestly. We also have a block ability, which is cool, which means that this is probably a tank class, but also I noticed a brand new ability. So if I go into my select weapon ability, we have all the normal ones, except I think we have two new ones. So we have these, which I believe are just mining lasers. So if you want to take this thing mining, I guess you could. I don't know if it's powerful enough to mine through obsidian, but we're going to test it out. That is where it draws the line. It cannot go through obsidian. Uh, Iron Man does have his limits, ladies and gentlemen. But on top of that, who turned on the rain? Jarvis, can you clear the rain, please? And thank you, Jarvis. Jarvis really can't do anything. Yo, what? Yo, what? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I think this is in the new update. What? No way. Okay, so there are brand new events in this update too, ladies and gentlemen. And I guess one just triggered. A nether portal just literally opened in the sky. Like, like, how do I, how do I, I, I don't even think I can turn it out. I don't even think I, I, I could, I could, I could destroy it. I don't even think my, my lasers can't even mine it. I was about to show you guys one of the new abilities, but I think I'm going to have to fight all of these. And I don't even think I can. Okay, micro projectiles, thrusters. Okay, we need to somehow fly. For whatever reason, the flying is being a, just a tad bit glitchy. I was not prepared for a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I was going to try to do this maybe later when, when I wasn't, you know, just like Mark 9, even though Mark 9 is amazing. Or Mark 8, I'm not even Mark 9 yet. What am I talking about? I managed to escape with Sir cluckers while i'm over here i guess this is a good opportunity to show you guys the new ability where if i activate it i can actually get out of the suit so i think this was in the last update but it is still super cool so i have to show it off you see if i have um any sort of stark legacy activated i can go slash jarvis and then i believe i can call call mark eight wow. oh it worked mark eight so it should be flying and it should come directly on top of my body there it goes yo that never gets old ladies and gentlemen that is so cool so i can obviously hop back in but ladies and gentlemen this armor is about to die so we're gonna go ahead and rank it up into mark 9 so mark 9 no longer needs the thrusters to lift off i can basically just lift off from wherever i am it also looks like the nether portal closed which is great because i was getting a little bit worried mark 9 is amazing it basically just builds on every other mark and is way more powerful i'll spawn in a couple brutes to show you guys but if i just tear through them with this golden axe they should go down pretty fast. And we also have micro projectiles. This is probably one of Iron Man's best 
best abilities, but there's a couple other super abilities that we're gonna be trying out later. Let's go ahead and rank up into Mark 10. So Mark 10 is where the armors get pretty interesting. I believe it has most of the same attacks and also weapons, except I don't think it has any lasers. But it can fly faster, it can punch harder, and it can walk faster than any of the other Iron Man suits. This is gonna be amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just bear with me. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wait a second, that was, that was nowhere near as amazing as I thought it'd be. I need more rockets. Rocket? Oh, double rocket. Nice, look at all the body parts. Three, two, one, power dive. Yes! Go ahead, yeah, you guys can all explode yourselves. Do what you gotta do. I'm barely gonna take any damage. Look at the armor integrity. Just from all of those creepers exploding, I only lost four. And I just chopped that creeper's head off. But on that note, let's upgrade to Mark 11. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is another super cool suit. So this is the first prototype of the stealth class of Iron Man armors. All of the other weapons, I believe, aren't as powerful as the previous marks, but we have a brand new ability called Cloak. That basically means that, uh, yeah, you can't, can't really see me too well any longer. If I move around, you really can't see me. I'm kind of like Casper the Ghost. Now, if I were to stand over here, you, you, could, you could probably tell that it, it, it's me. That's why this is the first of its kind. It's just kind of a prototype. But later on in the video, you will see the different marks that build upon this. I believe it's Mark 15 and Mark 17 that are able to go fully invisible. Let's rank up to Mark 12. Mark 12, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the weirdest looking Iron Man suits. It doesn't have any of the red and gold that you guys all know as Iron Man. This one is black and silver. It still looks super cool, don't get me wrong. But this one is not a cloak prototype. It's not a stealth prototype. So we really don't have any stealth abilities, but I believe it builds off Mark 10. So it's a little bit more powerful, a little bit more durable, and I believe it added back in the tri-laser. So if you want to take this thing mining on an asteroid, I guess you could do that. But you could just go ahead and we can mine stuff. Or we can burn somebody's eyeballs out. Whatever the heck you want to do, you can do it. Next up, Mark 13. There's not a ton different with Mark 13. All of the same abilities are on this Mark, but it is the fastest suit yet. So it's a little bit difficult to tell, but this is the fastest that Iron Man suit has been able to go in today's video. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm going, I'm going fast. Look, 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 look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rank up to Mark 14. Mark 14 literally looks like a jet engine. And it flies like one too. This builds on the last mark and is the fastest suit to date. But because it was streamlined to go extremely fast, uh, a lot of the weapons are now gone. You still have all your basic ones like the repulsor blast. You also have the unibeam. It's pretty cool. But if I check out the other abilities, we just have the rockets and I could also take off the suit. I don't have any of the tri-lasers. I don't have like a suitcase that I can carry this around in. So there's not as many weapons as the other marks. And I will be upgrading to Mark 15. Mark 15 looks so dope. I don't know, like just, I don't know what you guys think of that design. It doesn't have the normal red and gold, but still do the, the, the textures and the model of this thing look beautiful. And that is because it upgrades the cloaking mechanism. So I don't know actually how much it upgrades it. If I hit capital, um, I'm like maybe slightly more see-through, maybe like 10 to 20% more see-through, but I'm still kind of visible. You can still see me if you wanted. But we also do have another ability, it looks like. I'm not sure what this is. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test it out in three, two, one. Wait, what? Oh wait, it can change colors? Wait, that is cool. I don't know exactly what technology that uses, but if I, if I hit it again, look at that, look at that. Okay, so I go like a cloak mode and then I come out on the other side um, as a, you know, completely stealthed out. So I guess this could work. During the daytime, you could be like the normal red and gold Iron Man. And then at nighttime, you could be this version. You see, obviously uh, it's a little bit more difficult to tell I'm Iron Man right now because I blend in with the background. But if I were to go ahead and swap, uh, yeah, you can, you can kind of see the, the red and the gold Gold, and I guess you could also see the fire particles coming from my hands. And apparently because I'm in at nighttime, there is now a zombie horde. All right. Well, I don't know if this suit is the best to do that. We're more uh, based around stealth and I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from these guys. So we should probably go on top of my house and we should upgrade. Let's do it in three, two, one, Mark 16. I don't know exactly if this one's the best <laughs> for fighting either because I'm pretty sure this just upgrades Mark 15 and we now have the ability to go fully cloaked and we're invisible. So I think that we just basically blend in with our backgrounds and it <laughs> If you move around, you can kind of see, but as soon as you stop moving, you are completely invisible. So this is great for PvP. Unfortunately, I think, wait, never mind. The cloaking works with the zombies too. They no longer know I'm up here. Now I can go ahead and use a hand cannon. Let's go. Oh my gosh, bro. This giant, he wants me dead. He only has 31 health left, so I should be able to just use my unibeam to take him out. And also my repulsors. 
That didn't do the trick. How did that not do the trick? Oh, this one also has a different ability too, where I think I can turn back into a regular colored Iron Man. All right, well, oh, oh, wait. Somehow I just burned him. Yo, oh, wait a second. There's some like upgraded zombies here. What is going on? That was called a spitter. It literally just started spitting at me. Okay, before I deal with the rest of these, let's go ahead and upgrade again. Three, two, one, Mark 17. Mark 17 is codenamed Heartbreaker. This thing has an insanely powerful Unibeam projector as it's, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's just its best ability. I just collected a brain. Why would I ever want a brain? This is also supposedly the most durable armor. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test that out. We're gonna spawn in just a ton of zombies around me. And yeah, they're barely doing any damage to my armor. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly and we're gonna test out our insanely powerful Unibeam. Okay. That has some insane output. That went way longer than the normal Unibeam. They have the same sound effect, but the, the Ultra one is definitely way more powerful. Let's try out a little power dive. Nice. And we're just going to go to work on these guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Yes, this Iron Man armor is so powerful. I love it. I literally could do this all day, ladies and gentlemen. Dead. There's only four more to go, so let's go ahead and upgrade to Mark 18. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Mark 8, er, yeah, 18. So I believe this builds off of Mark 16 and 17. It actually does have the cloaking ability where you go completely invisible. But I believe it also has the same or similar durability as the last Mark. So I also forgot to mention in the last Mark, uh, Tony Stark decided to add a brand new ability called a repulsor shield. If I go ahead and test this out, uh, you'll notice that around my entire body, we have a force field that will just bounce off any sort of projectile. I don't know if this is my best idea, but I'm gonna use my my shield. So look, look at it, look at it, look, look at look at look, look at him, look at him. He's, he's trying to shoot me, but but he can't because there's a repulsor shield around my entire body. And I also do insane amounts of damage because I'm just you know Mark 18, and every single Mark has gotten stronger. Don't worry, little buddy, your time has come. That was just slightly overkill. Let's go ahead and rank up to Mark 19. Mark 19 was nicknamed by Tony Stark as Tiger. And I can definitely see why. This thing is the most unique looking Iron Man suit, I think, today. All the abilities are basically the same, except for the fact that I think this one is slightly faster and it can fly to higher altitudes. So the other Iron Man suits, I think we're only able to go one, like a couple hundred blocks. This one can go all the way up to 600 blocks high. I don't really want to show you guys that, but you'll have to just kind of take my word. We also decided to revert back to the hand cannon as our insanely powerful ult. I guess that was to make space to fly faster and fly higher but we only have two more to check out so let's rank up to rank 20. here we have ladies and gentlemen the mark 20 suit i believe this is the successor to mark 9. by the way if you guys do want all the information on the iron man suits when you do check out this mod if you get this portable model mod the, the, the portable modular device <laughs> ew that's just disgusting but if you get this thing it will actually give you tons of different information on the mark that you're using this one is codenamed python as you guys can see the predecessor is mark 9 and the next suit that we're going to be checking out is an upgraded version of this Mark 20. So it has most of the same abilities that we've already checked out. I actually don't think that there's anything new other than the fact that this thing can fly even higher and slightly faster than the other suits. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and rank up to the last suit, Mark 21. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the final suit that is included in the Legends mod. Obviously, there are a ton of other suits that Iron Man has created, so in the future, I'm assuming that we'll be seeing a lot more. This one is one of my favorite looking suits. It's literally just straight gold plated. It also is, I believe, one of the strongest suits in the entire mod. I actually think that the Mark 18 or Mark uh, Mark 17 or 18 might be the strongest in terms of durability, but this one is definitely not shabby at all. I'm just gonna spawn in just a ton of zombie pigments. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you guys can do your do your absolute best. Is I'm gonna go ahead and use my micro projectiles on you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's hit him with a little unibeam. Yes. This is just so fun. I could do this every single day for the rest of my entire life. I'm gonna go hit him with the power drive. I love it. What you guys doing down there? You having a little trouble flying? Power dive. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is every single Iron Man suit. If you guys do have a favorite, please go ahead, leave a like while you're down there, and comment it down below. I hope you guys did enjoy. Shout out to Tinho and the entire team for making this. If you guys do want to check it out, there will be a download linked in the description below. That is going to wrap it up. That is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Iron Man, and I will hopefully see you guys back again here real soon. Peace out, dudes.